I'm back with a, another do-it-yourself small electronic tip. Got my battery charging right now. I'll get back to that. But sitting here, going through all my goodies. You know, I'll try to add to it every week. So I was going through my box and I was just like, let me make a little video for anyone who probably doesn't understand electronics or needs a little help or you're just looking for a new idea so I'll just call this video um, hot wire everything that's what I like to do I like to break it down and hook everything else up to other shit so I'll start with hmm let me see. Let me just power this motor. And I'll just use this 12 volt charger. I got it from a government phone. I actually haven't used it. I just stripped it down and I stopped doing what I was doing. And I'm just gonna hook up these. Not really. I don't have a fucking soldering iron, so I'll do a whole lot of soft wiring. But it's alright, because I like to break it down and build new shit, so. So there you go, just basic hookups. Put a little clamp on it. Now I'll plug it up. See how that's doing. This motor might be kind of broken. I'm not sure why it's jumping like that, but this is just an idea. I'm not trying to make something that works. It might actually be this charger, but there's one way you can just hook up fucking. 12 volt charger, hot wire that shit. I'll leave these plugged up. Another way is you can use the rocker switch. Add one of these suckers in. And then y'all, let me actually plug back in the 12 volt. And this is for a little more control on your project. You just, it's always good to have an on off switch with anything you do. Put this sucker in. So there you have it. The rocker switch is plugged in. And it's jumping again for some reason. So there's that. Now, let's say you don't have the 12 volt, the 12 volt plug in, you know, so you don't have this, but you got your little battery. Now I'm going to, I left this piece on at first I was going to disconnect it, but I like this piece because it'll charge the battery too without me having to do all this difficult shit and it'll tell me when it's done charging with the LED, so I decided to keep that on. So let me just, I have my USB with the exposed wires. And again, this isn't video teaching you how to do anything, just little ideas. So I'll go ahead and these babies up and pause it so I hot wired the leads on plug the sucker up it's got an on off switch on the battery so I'll hit that battery and my rocker switch it's not jumping anymore and if you can see it's fucking a crazy ass hot wires 
from the bank to a USB to a rocker and these two hookup switches. So very simple. Kill that. Turn the battery off. Just basic shit for your projects and then you can even throw in this. Let me pause this and I'll just replace it with the rocker switch. I'm pretty sure you guys know what rocker switches do and any other type of switch, but let me just throw that in the video. Turn the battery on. And I've been having troubles with this foot switch right here. Every time, like if you touch it with bare skin, you'll actually draw a lot of the power into into yourself like you know skin conducts electricity it's not enough to shock you or anything but you will draw half the power away from that and it also shuts it off for some reason it just dumps the whole battery for some reason and I have to recharge it so this might not be the best thing or just make sure you have a you know it's just better than this one this came from an old tattoo machine and don't touch it with your bare skin you'll draw some electricity away from it but yeah that's just the basics right there just a little video before i make some more videos had a little idea but stay tuned subscribe if you want to see more electronic project tips or just whatever I be doing on a daily. Yep.